Let me define what we mean by evangelical statesman first. What is a statesman in Christian terms? I would say there are probably two dimensions to statesmanship from an evangelical perspective. The first is, the first characteristic of a statesman is that he's gospel focused. Uh, he doesn't mind who is on the platform uh, so long as the church is growing. He is excited no matter who is speaking, even if he's not on the, on the podium, um, if it's evidence of God at work. He's concerned for the advance of the gospel, not his agency primarily or his organization. He usually sees the agency or his church, the church he link, he's linked with, uh, as a means of promoting the cause of the gospel. But he usually defends the gospel more than he defends his church or his agency. So his focus is primarily on the advance of the gospel. Um, secondly, you can often tell a statesman because he speaks very little about his own ministry. And he's often saying, have you heard about what God's doing in this place or through this person? And if you're talking with such people, usually after about 15 minutes, you end up saying to them, excuse me, for the last 15 minutes, you've been telling me about what's happening in this country or through this agency. Can you just remind me what you're doing again? Because I didn't catch it. In other words, they're obsessed and focused much more on the advance of the gospel and the people that God is using to advance the gospel than they are on uh, in speaking about their own ministry advancing. Now, those people are very rare because many of us tend to defend our agency or our denomination or even blow our own trumpet about our own church and our own uh, leadership. Those kind of statesmen are always thinking, what can I do or say in this situation so that the gospel is advanced more than my own reputation? And they're very, very rare. Two of the great evangelical statesmen in the last 50 years were Billy Graham and John Stott. They were concerned for the advance of the gospel ahead of the advancement of their own name. They were both very humble guys. We need people, more people like that in the global church. We're always thinking, how can we fast foster growth? How can we bring glory to the name of God? How can we see the gospel advance? Even if my role is in the back room and I'm not on the platform. They're very rare people. And we need to pray that God will raise up such people in every country. When we were preparing the Lausanne Congress for Cape Town in 2010, we decided that we would try to find an evangelical statesman in each country to select the people who came. Because if you don't have a statesman, they select people from their own church, their own denomination, their own agency. We couldn't find one in many countries. We were surprised even with some senior leaders how they would, when we looked at the list of people they were sending from their country, they were all from the same denomination. And we had to say, you can't do that, sorry. Uh, you have to think about what's the best for the whole church in the whole country, not just your agency or your denomination. So it's often a telltale sign when you're talking with leaders if the only work they can speak about and the only people they can speak about are those within their own circle. That's not the mark of an evangelical statesman. It, the marks are a gospel orientation above all else.